It doesn't necessarily have to be that people are toxic or narcissistically abusive to leave you feeling underwhelmed, depressed even after an interaction with them. This can be when you spend time with certain family members, cousins, in-laws, people that you get together with and you're hoping to have a good time and they might not be necessarily abusive, yet you just don't know where you fit in their world. My name is Kevin and this is The Royal We. I am here for your support, by the way, those of you who are coming out of toxic relationships or in this place of trying to understand this world that you live in when it no longer makes sense. I'm here for your support. Down in the description box, you'll find access to my calendar for one-on-one -on -one appointments, telephone calls, FaceTime, WhatsApp video calls. It's all available for you. So head on down there and schedule some time with me and I'll help deepen your understanding of what we are about to talk about here. We're talking about the reality that people who you thought cared about you really don't, not in the way that you would hope that they do. We all starve in our lives. We crave this one thing. Do you, do you know what it is? We crave unconditional love. From the moment we're born and we're, we're held by our mother and up against the, 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 her bosom, and we are fed and we're taken care of, we crave unconditional love. Are we loved? Are we accepted? Who are we? This is a huge part of our existence. But as we age, and especially as when we get older and we experience a toxic relationship, the question becomes a more serious question. Who really cares for us? Especially when we are dumped on by somebody who said they love us. Well, yikes. It seems to me the closest we get to unconditional love as adults is if if you have a dog, right? Because that dog is going to be there for you no matter what, no matter how good or not so good you treat the dog. It's going to be excited to see you. It's going to hang on your every word. It's going to bring the leash to you so you can go on a walk together. It's going, right? Finding that in another human being, it's just not possible <laughs> to be honest with you. And so we're not even looking for that, but you're looking for someone to genuinely care about you. And so you would hope that your family and your friends and uh, some of your coworkers or some of your siblings and cousins might really care for you, but they don't. What you discover is that you go to these events and these family functions and the conversations are shallow at best. And it's depressing. You don't really get deep. You find out they're not really interested in what's going on in your life. They'd rather make cheap little jabs at other people and jokes. And at one point in your life, you may have actually joined in and maybe thought it was funny and because you didn't really care either. But now you're really looking at that going, huh, man, that conversation is empty. Do they even really care about me? Do they want to know about me? What's going on in my life? And the harsh reality is, is no. And this is depressing. If you think on this and if you consider this. And if you need this, it's depressing. It's depressing to realize that cousins, family members, friends, people who say they love you don't really love you. Not the way that you are hoping that they would or should. And so what do we do with this? What do we do with this? We need unconditional love in this life. So what you're going to have to figure out what I'd like to help you to figure out is you have to take that need for unconditional love, that validation from outside of yourself, and you have to put it into something in your life, something that you are capable of doing that doesn't require anybody else. And you need to focus that unconditional love. You need to transfer it into that one thing. And that then becomes your validation. In other words, your validation needs to come from what you offer the world, how you live your life, your validation needs to come from that alone. And you need to find that unconditional love in that. Let me give an example. I love making videos. Not just talking here on the Royal Wheat to you. I enjoyed this, but I just like making videos in general. I enjoy the creative process, the artisticness of it. And, and that's why some of you all will see some artistic videos that I make on the Royal Wheat channel. I love flying the drone. What do I love about this? Well, I like that I can go out and I could just do it put the camera up there, add some music in the background, accomplish something, build something. And whether 
or not anybody watches it. One person, two people, five people, doesn't matter because I put something together and I love it. I have an unconditional love for what I just made and I accomplished it and it's done and I upload it and boom and I can say, man, I did that. And I love it. And if nobody else likes it, I love it. And this is such an important thing because that's the unconditional love. The unconditional love I'm receiving is not from other people. The unconditional love I'm receiving is from the reward of my own doing. And when you realize what it is that you can do, whether you're an artist, whether you are a musician, whether you're a skateboarder, whether you are a a filmmaker, you can find your unconditional love in this life by doing what you enjoy doing and letting that validate you. But you got to find that and you got to live according to that. Your other option in this life is to walk around hoping that other people will validate you. Your cousins, family members, that they're going to be all up in you in your face saying, oh man, you're amazing. Your life is amazing. How, oh, what's going on? What? See, and we all want that, but you're never going to get that. So you got to stop looking for that in life. And you have to start investing yourself into what you can offer. Get your validation from that. Find your unconditional love in that. I think I've settled on this that, listen, the only reason you're watching me right now is because of the royal we. If the royal we didn't exist, I would cease to exist to you. Right? It's not that I'm great that you're sitting here listening to me because I'm not great. I'm no better than anybody else but it's because you resonate with what I'm doing. You've got something in this life that other people are going to resonate with. Again, it could be music, art, painting, whatever it is. You've got something that people can resonate with. Do it, but do it because you love to do it. And then watch as other people resonate. No, they're not going to unconditionally love you. People don't unconditionally love me. People like what they resonate with. That's life. That's the best you can hope for here on this planet in your search for unconditional love until the next life. Well, listen, not only do I enjoy making videos, but I also enjoy one-on-one conversations with you to help deepen your understanding of these issues. Down in the description box, you'll find access to my calendar for FaceTime, WhatsApp video calls. It's all available for you. I'm here. I'm looking forward to talking with you. I'm standing by my phone right now waiting for your scheduled appointment. So head on down there, schedule some time with me, and I'll be back with more videos for you right here on The Royal We. 